friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 21st, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a space weather update, world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes, having a look at the last 48 hours on our sun, active along the backside for sure, small CMEs, earth facing, and as well a small solar flare to talk about in the last few images, Big cresting sunspot in the northwest limb. This is the last 48 hours incoming. With a little earth to scale visual. You can see on the right hand side there the plasma erecting. And bright fiery region incoming right now. That is a very massive sunspot. Having a quick look here at the most recent action. And again it was on the back side. And there was just recently a C-class solar flare, I believe, from the same region. But definitely keeping an eye on our pretty active sun over the last couple days. And we are already being affected by some space weather from our last event. Looking at multi-spectrum here, all of the events for the last 48 hours. And as well... 193 angstroms showing the coronal holes that are developing just north of the equator on the sun coming into earth facing position now other than that no space weather events thwarted our way but i also wanted to show you here after a large coronal mass ejection on february 15th two comets are seen diving towards the sun here looking at lasco three to visualize them watch in the bottom left side incoming one two pretty sizable comets with large tails burning up behind them another quick look this is the region they came out of amazing amazing world we living in just wanted to share you those little visuals with you as we don't often catch them but that was a massive coronal mass ejection that we had on the 15th and we did see a small uptick in seismicity and we are seeing that now actually having a look at the iswa space prediction spiral showing a large blast out the back side of the sun that looks like a solar flare to me Either or, a coronal mass ejection, and that was right at Oriris Rex satellites. Looking at our real-time solar wind, sitting at about 540 kilometers per second, but it's been pretty steady here for the past 24 hours, upwards of over 500 kilometers, as well watching the density pick up a little bit, temperature. Looking at solar x-ray flux for today, minor C-class CME recorded a flare and as well geomagnetic activity remains slightly elevated seeing it at a KP index of three Schumann resonance for today a power of eight and as well a blackout to report So quality of 8.8 .8, amplitude of eight Let's have a look at earthquakes here as we just recently had a pretty large earthquake, 6.6 .6 earthquake, Bellany Islands region, and that is south of New Zealand, right into the Australian and Antarctic plate. No tsunami is expected. Is at a shallow depth, but it is default depth that could change over the next little bit. But that is a large earthquake, and I was just about to learn, warn for a large earthquake after we had some pretty deep seismic activity in Fiji region today. Let's start out here with our very active region today, a 5.8 in a Rutang, Rutang, Indonesia, at a 10 kilometer depth, followed by, by many aftershocks, even a sizable 5.3, as well a 4.4 there, Timor-Leste, 5.1, Papua New Guinea, and then the three deep earthquakes here, Tonga region and as well Labasa, Fiji, 542 kilometer depth 
and that's why I was going to put out an earthquake warning, but it seems we've already seen a big one. That might be it. As well, lots of activity through Marianas Trench today, a 5.1 and a 5.0 to report, Marizo Village, 5.3 here in Tingloy, Philippines, 138 kilometer depth, as well as Southern Japan Islands, Naha, Japan, 5.5, 5.0 here, Izu Islands, 90 kilometer depth. And then right northward here, so we're seeing a big shift on the West Pacific Plate through Japan and up into Kamchatka, 4.6 here. Kuril Islands, 35 kilometer depth. So lots of activity, West Ring of Fire, 4.6 there, King High, China, 4.0 here in Germ, Afghanistan. And as well, a pretty rare earthquake here, a 3.2 to report in Hockley, United Kingdom, 10 kilometer depth. I know I have a lot of UK followers. Let me know if you felt that in the region. 4.4 here to report, Santa Marie, Martinique. And that is a pretty large subduction zone. Many volcanoes through there, so stay aware and prepared. Really quiet, eerily quiet across the North American plate. Only reporting largest here, 3.4, Trepinos, California. As well, way too quiet. South American plate. Only major earthquake to report was the 4.6 San Antonio de Cobros. Having a look here at the last seven days across the world. Definitely seeing an uptick over the last 24 hours. Sitting up over 240 earthquakes the past 24 hours according to USGS. And lots of deep movement cross west ring of fire minor earthquakes surrounding the african plate and way too quiet north american plate central america and south america so heads up stay aware prepared and have a plan everybody let's have a look here pacific disaster center showing most recent satellite imagery from around the world and as well the most recent volcanoes to update Looking at Talika in Nic Nicaragua, just awakened six hours ago. As well, Reventador in Ecuador. Senge in Ecuador. Etna in Italy, still spewing. Sabancaya in Peru, Fuego, Guatemala, Nevados to Chilean. Suez to Najima in Japan. As well, small tsunami watch went out with the 5.0 through Alaska, Nevados to Chile and Colombia, Tirabla, Costa Rica, Semeru, and yes, sir. So that's about 14 volcanoes getting updated today. And now there are inactive and erupting about 50. We were at, sitting at 48. Delica has awakened. And as well, Tirabla. Having a look here at satellite imagery across the world. Still pretty big systems heading through the West Pacific and as well up into Europe. Tropical cyclone Imnati is alive and is a Category 2 right now, making landfall Madagascar over the tonight, overnight tonight. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody through Madagascar. 20,000 people were displaced. Thousands of homes flooded out and destroyed through the last couple cyclones that have gone through there. So this is now the third cyclone they've seen in about two and a half, three weeks. So pretty active, to say the least. The Southeast Indian cyclone season. But they all seem to be heading southwards towards Madagascar. Last year, many of them were heading northwards. Well, let's have a quick look at your weather forecast here, brought to you by Windy. Pretty big system heading into southern Ontario this week. As well, extreme cold temperatures funneling down from Canada. Thank you very much. Hudson Bay and as well, Russia. That was that big low pressure system that was thrown across the northern hemisphere that I showed in my last video. Now this system is set to quickly usher northeast into the Atlantic provinces, dropping a lot of rain through Ontario 
and then snow on the back side of the system. And then watch for atmospheric line of moisture here to ride the coast of the Atlantic. Very big Pacific low heading into northern BC and Alaska. Watch for a low to sneak through Hudson Bay later in the week. Could see some snow heading down into Ontario Thursday. And then look at the temperatures here over the next few days. Extreme cold temperatures, minus 33 without the wind chill in parts of Northwest Territories, Manitoba. But these cold temperatures are going to be dipping down as far south as Nebraska. Looking at minus 30 in some areas. Minus, you can add at least 10 degrees Celsius with those wind chills because there is a lot of windy conditions right now across the Northern Hemisphere. Across Ontario as well, watch for heavy winds with that system that's going to be coming through tomorrow. And again, you will see rain on the front and snow on the back with that deep polar vortex heading into the system. Overlooking Europe, pretty big system encycling Iceland and then heading eastward over northeast Europe. And then another one moving into Greenland. Low pressure system here heading through Turkey. And then watch for a second one to come through later in the week. Pretty intense low pressure system heading through the Mediterranean, Italy, Greece. Watch out for an uptick in seismicity. Overlooking Australia and Indonesia, Malaysia. Watching for quite a few systems here to pop up in this forecast model. Looks to be about six possibly eight strong system developing we could have at least six cyclones spinning across our world in the coming days all these systems are definitely favorable for cyclonic activity as well we've got that one system heading through madagascar stay safe stay aware prepared my friends and family stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.